crafty friends welcome to today's video this morning i made this happy adventure card and i used these recently acquired arrow dies to create this cascade of arrows down the card because to me arrows speak of direction change of direction adventure signposts going to pastures new so i think these really work well for this kind of thing they'd work well on i think retirement cards as well so stick around because i'm going to remake this card for you in a different color scheme with a few adjustments to give you some extra ideas and i have to switch to voiceover because my neighbors are having some trees cut down this morning and it keeps getting very noisy right let's get on with it so the first thing I did was take four pieces of mixed media paper and pop them on my grip mat. I then picked some inks that gave me a sunny adventure, foreign climbs type feel and blended one on each piece of mixed media paper. So these are Catherine Pooler inks. I think they're all from the Spa Collection. We've got Rose Petals, Polished, Sea Foam and Apricot. And as I say, they give me a, a sunny, summery feel. I think when choosing colours for this kind of card, where someone is going off on an adventure or doing something new, you could always pick colours that you know that person likes, or if you know where they're going, you could pick colours that speak of that place. Maybe the national colours, the colours of the flag of the country they're going to, that kind of thing. So once I'd done all the panels, I then ran each one through my die cutting machine with my arrow dies and then sorted them all out into colour. Then I took my high tack glue and spread that across my glass mat to make it easier to pick up. And all I did was dip the arrows in the glue and then run them down in a repeating colour pattern down the card front, alternating the direction of the arrows. And I think having the arrows facing in different directions adds some energy to the card and having them a bit higgledy-piggledy down the page again adds energy and a sense of excitement. I did use my T-square ruler to try and get the arrows relatively straight. I think if you want wonky arrows on a card like this, make them wonky so they look purposefully wonky. And if you want straight arrows, then use something like a T-square ruler that's going to help you get them straight. It's also a good idea to keep a baby wipe to hand or a damp cloth so you can wipe your gluey fingers on that. That's where my left hand keeps going. I keep wiping my fingers on a baby wipe. If you didn't want to use glue, you could put double sided adhesive on the back of your coloured cardstock before you die cut out your arrows. If you wanted to add lots of dimension to your card, you could pop some of the more solid arrows up on foam tape. Or before cutting your arrows, you could put double-sided adhesive craft foam on the back of your coloured pieces of card. And then cut your arrow shapes out and then they would be quite dimensional. I think that would look really nice. I did make sure I had the top arrow and the bottom arrow hanging off the top and the bottom of the card to give a sense that this is part of a continuous pattern. And once everything was stuck down, I did snip off the overhang with a pair of scissors. For my sentiment, I've got some grungy label type stamps that have the words happy and adventure in them. I stamped those in black ink to make them stand out against the colourful arrows. And then I used a pair of scissors to cut them out. They have a tiny little white border around the outside of each label. To add some dimension, I did pop these sentiment pieces up on foam tape and again use my T-square ruler to make sure I got them straight. Now 
And then I bought in my little bottle of glossy accents and I added glossy accents to the two arrows that were open, the ones that didn't have anything in the middle. And although on video it looks like the glossy accents are a bit yellow, they will dry clear. Glossy accents tends to come out a bit cloudy and then dries clear. And I also added some glossy accents onto some of the solid arrows. I didn't do all the arrows because I wanted a bit of variation across the card. I did think about sprinkling some glitter on the arrows that I'd added glossy accents to, but I decided not to in the end. I didn't feel that it needed any glitter on it, this card. And as a final finishing touch, I added some Nouveau Drops. I decided to use black Nouveau Drops because I wanted a bit more black. I didn't want the sentiment to be the only black. It looked a bit kind of lonely, I guess. So I, as I say, added some black Nouveau Drops. And that's it. That's this card finished. It is clean and simple. Very easy to do. I do hope you like it and you've enjoyed the video and that it's given you some ideas of something to do with some of the dies in your own stash. And I hope that you'll join me again for my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.